you shall see this person no more. The Lord sees as you tell someone, you shall see this person no more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for your word. May your name be blessed. May your name be glorified. Shalom family. I welcome each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the word and declaration with Lynette. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel, thank you so much for taking a pause to listen to this prophetic ministration. I pray as you listen from the beginning to the end, you will be blessed. As you stay connected to this prophetic channel, your life is going to transform in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe so you'll become part of this awesome family. And as for those returning as family, thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for staying with me. May God bless and increase you all in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you have been believing God for for so long as you have been consistent. I pray that may God reward you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we thank you for today, Lord. We bless your name. King of kings, we honor you for there is no one like you. Father, we thank you for another moment in your presence. Lord, I pray for everyone that is connected, listening to me right now with an open heart. Lord, whatever their expectations are, do not let them go back without a miracle. Do not let them go back without a testimony. I pray you touch each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for preservation. May you preserve their going out and are coming in. Lord, we pray that may you continue to guide and protect everything that belongs to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord says, you shall see this person no more. I know you are wondering this person I'm talking about, but the Lord says, the trials that you experience right now, the, the tribulations that you go through right now, you shall see them no more. This is a prophetic word and it is a promise to you. It is a reassurance for someone that is about to give up. Things are difficult for you and you feel like everything has come to an end. You feel like there is nothing to write home about. The Lord says, I should tell you, do not give up. For he is about to take away everything that is causing you pain right now. This is a scripture the Lord gave me for you. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 14 verse 12. Exodus chapter 14 verse 12. This is a word of the Lord for someone. It says, Is this, is this not the word that we told you in Egypt saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than, than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see them no more forever. Moses says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. For the Egyptians which you see today, you shall see them no more. I don't know that which you're going through right now that is causing you pain, that is making you to give up on God. I don't know if it's that rejection, that disappointment, that delay, that addiction that has made you to, to feel reluctant to pray, that has made you to lose your hope in God. The Lord says, the Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more. That pain which you're seeing today, you shall see no more. That rejection which you're experiencing right now, you shall see them no more. That sickness that is killing your body, God is taking it away and you shall see them no more. The Lord says, stand still and see his salvation. This is a reassurance to you. You might have given up on God. You might have let everything that you've worked for to go down to the drain. God says, stand still and see his salvation. Everything is about to turn around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. May God enlighten you. May God give you a spirit to have a great faith so you will be able to overcome this situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you receive this word with gladness. Thank you all so much for being a part of this session. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so when next I upload the next video, you will be the first to know. I love you all so much, family. And see you in our next session. God bless you. Shalom.